Hey guys, it's your girl Shella. And today is my day for my tightening. You guys, I washed my hair this morning. I got this um, t-shirt on my hair to, you know, to absorb the water because you don't want to use a towel. Towels causes lint. And we don't want lint in our hair, in our locks, in our sister locks or our hair. Anyway, y'all. So I decided to make me a bacon and egg sandwich. And the way I did my bacon and egg sandwich, you guys, I did um, two, crack two eggs, put it in the microwave with a little salt and a little pepper, put it in the microwave for two minutes. And y'all saw, I showed it to y'all. And then I got my, I got uh, four pieces of bread. This is real thin bread. It's the Great Value Walmart bread. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got four pieces of bread. I put it in a toaster, two in each slot. And then when you open it up, of course, when you open it up, the inside is gonna be white because it's not gonna be toasted. So what I did is I took the the strawberry jelly, as y'all saw, and I smeared it on the in between the white sides, close them up, and so there's this two pieces of bread, and I put jelly on it. But you guys, let's bless this. Thank you, Lord, for this food that it be nourishment to my body. We got a lot of protein on this plate. Dear Lord, bless all the people out there in YouTube land. Bless all my family, my friends, relatives, my children, dear Lord. Bless them in a mighty way and continue to be a blessing. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Now, we're going to get into this. Oh, Frank went to go visit my cousin, which is also one of his best friends, his military buddies also. Let me show y'all this again. That's the back side of the sandwich right here. But I'm going to give y'all some because I want y'all to have some. And this bacon, this bacon that y'all saw kept falling out because like, Eat me, eat me, eat me. Ow. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, yeah. This is rice bacon, y'all. All right. Here you go. Goodbye. Mm. Mm. Get it, get it, get it. Mm. Don't have it. That's a big sandwich, y'all. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Hope everybody has a beautiful blessed day. I'll make Frank one when he get back. My cousin had a um a stroke. Um so he has not been doing too good. But Frank went to get over there early this morning so he can see him. Cause when it get late on the day, you know, he um he be asleep. So yeah. I'm gonna show y'all a video. Once my hair get retightened. Y'all saw a new girl. All the gray hairs. I really like how it is. Mm-hmm. Now, y'all had the thick bread, like Texas toast or something, or brioche bread. You won't have to double it like I did, but I knew it was going to be a big sandwich. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Y'all got some bacon? I gotta tell you about a disturbing topic. Very disturbing. And that's why I'm be like looking at news and stuff because it's just there's some demonic people out there, y'all. Mm. But let 
Let me get into the sandwich real good. Not, not tell y'all. Cause if I start talking about it now, I won't finish the sandwich. Who likes a good old jelly sandwich? A bacon jelly sandwich. This is a breakfast sandwich right here because I ate it in it, but grape jelly with bacon on toast. But this is super. It's good. Really any kind of jelly with bacon. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, bacon. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Comment below if you haven't subscribed to our show and Frank Talk Life and Marriage. Go ahead and do it. Well, wait. Mm -hmm. We appreciate everybody that subscribed to our channels. Mm-hmm. And if you're just watching and haven't subscribed, commit yourself today. It's free. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -hmm. It's been eight weeks. Eight weeks since my last retightening. I wash it with my La Sanity shampoo and the cream. Last bite. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That was so good. That's the spark. Okay. Let me get some my topic, y'all. That's just water. Okay. Maybe some of y'all have heard about it. I saw it as a headliner um, on the news. 
And it was about this guy. This is a black guy. African American. But at this point, it don't even matter the color. But he has a few kids. More than three. More than two. But he's been abusive to his children and also to his girlfriends, obviously. Um, man, he's done things to these kids. One in particular wasn't even a year old. A little girl. And when I saw the headline, I'm like, what? And then I, then, and then I was going to mention in a video, and I forgot to put the details on there, and I still forgot. And then I saw it again in the video, and I'm like, that's the same? That's the same story. So I listened to it. And what it boils down to is this, okay, the girlfriend, well, she was, I don't even know if she was a girlfriend or not, the baby mama, okay, the baby mama, left for work and he I guess was watching the little baby when she came home from work she said she was just in shock at what she found when she came home from work she said her daughter's face was like just unrecognizable the baby's head down to the shoulder and what the doctors say happened was that this man, this he's a father of this little baby girl that's not even a year old, poured boiling water down her throat. Boiling water. You know how we feel if we sipping on hot chocolate or, 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 or sipping on coffee or something hot cider whatever and it just burned the tip of your tongue just imagine and they said obviously it was intentional it was intentional just imagine this is your child a little one-year-old barely a one-year-old and you pour boiling water you know need i say more who would do such a thing? Who would do this? Who would do this? And when you look in the news and see all of the things that's happening in the world. So now that the poor child is in, is in the hospital. Fighting for her life. Literally fighting for her life. And this man. Is just walking around. Well now he's locked up. He was supposed to have been going uh for a bond hearing they um they took away his bond i guess they're gonna make sure that he stays in jail until his whatever i don't really know i just i would just how can anyone do that to an innocent child i mean i just can't even phantom someone pouring that hot boiling water down a child's throat the, the baby's face and head is all messed up. Now they have tubes running through the little girl. You know, it's some demonic people out here. You got to have no, no love for God or Christ to do something that's heinous. It's heinous to an innocent, an innocent now, if I, if I do find the article again, I will post it on the back end of this. But, you know, I, I'm, I don't even, I'm telling y'all about this, but that's like, I just, it's just unbelievable. And then he's done this to a couple of his other kids, not the boiling water thing, but been abusive. So, obviously, this guy's got some issues. He's got some serious issues. So, we have to be prayer warriors and pray for our kids, our innocent Excuse me, pray for the ones that do these crimes, y'all, because, oof, I just don't know. But anyway, anyway, I think that's going to be the end of me talking about that, because that's very upsetting to me that someone would do that. But I will come back and show y'all my sister lock journey, so if y'all haven't, on a lighter note, if y'all haven't, follow me on my, on my sister lock journey. Go ahead and do so. Uh, I got a playlist for y'all. And, um, 
yeah, this is to say prayed up. So I'll come back and show you my hair once it gets retightened. My daughter says she'll she'll do about three hours worth, and then she got to do studying, you know, because she's you know going to the, to the police academy. She's got to make sure she get those administrative um, um, bylaws or whatever stuff that she needs to learn for her to be a policeman on the street and know what needs and know what's right and what's wrong. And um. In the law terms, in terms of the law. So anyway, hopefully she gets my perimeter. I may need to start about my perimeter because you know I got a lot of new girls. And if she can get my perimeter, I'll be good until she come back again next week to get you know whatever part that she missed from this week. But she said she's gonna spend about three hours on my hair. So we'll see you guys on the next video because we know we post videos every day. I hope y'all enjoying the prank on pranks and the stuff that I put in my food. And did y'all see how he switched up plates around me? Oh! Bye y'all. Love y'all. Hugs and kisses. Don't forget to subscribe. 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 Like, 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 like. Share, 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 share. Because you care about promo and CK and Sheila and Frank. All right. Talk to you later. On the flip side. Bye. All right, you guys. So it's been eight weeks. Look at my gray hair and my new growth. All right, this is a day before. Uh, this picture, right, video right here is a day before. Um, I'm to get my retightening. So just so you guys can just see the little clip of my new grove and my gray hair. So please follow me on my sister lock journey, you guys. Follow me. Check out my playlist. I have a playlist just for you. What's up, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, Shella and Frank. Come on over and check out our channel, Promo SDK Reality TV, husband and wife, where we eat good in the neighborhood. We're a mukbang eating show, cooking and recipes, especially soul food, pranks on Frank. Oh, y'all go check it out challenges vlogs comedy skits short videos and tiktok so come on and become our oh yeah baby today subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram promo sdk promo sdk or you can also go to any of our social sites and find us under promo stk oh yeah baby we can't wait to see you we can't wait to meet you, so come on over.